Hi, John here, and today I'm going to be demonstrating an app called SMS Backup and Restore. You can probably already tell what it does by the name, but here are a couple reasons why you might want to use this app. Google doesn't have a native way in Android to restore your backed up SMS messages from the cloud unless you are setting up a phone from scratch. So, in order to get all of your messages from one phone to another, you would have to factory reset your phone. And that's something I don't enjoy doing. <laughs> so, this will show you how to do that. Also, you just might feel more comfortable having your own backup of your text messages that's not stored with Google. So I'm just going to open the app to show you the initial first run experience. SMS backup and restore. Welcome. SMS backup and restore protects your important messages and call logs. We'll need permissions to access your messages, calls, and storage to continue. So, it's going to ask us for a few different permissions. Privacy policy. Get started. Button. I'm going to hit get started. Allow SMS backup and restore to access your phone call logs. Allow. Button. Allow SMS backup and restore to access your contacts. Allow. Button. Allow SMS backup and restore to send you notifications. Allow. Button. I guess this one's optional. Allow SMS backup and restore to make and manage phone calls. Allow button. Allow SMS backup and restore to send and view SMS messages. Allow button. SMS backup and restore. SMS backup and restore. No backups yet. Okay, so here we are on the main page, and there's not really much on the home page, but I'm just going to show you how you're going to back up messages and how you're going to restore messages because those are the two main things you're going to want to do with this app. So I'm going to touch near the top left. Open drawer button. And open the menu. Men checked. Home. We're on the home screen. Backup now. But I'm going to go to backup now. Backup now. Backup selections. And here's what on. we have. Messages. Switch. You could choose whether you want to back up messages and or your call logs. SMS 202401261558522.xml. Edit box. Name. And you can change the name of the file if you On. want. Call logs. Switch. Calls 20 trillion 240 billion 120. Advanced options. Then we have advanced options, and I'm going to expand this to show you what you can customize about it. I double tapped it. There was no feedback, but it did expand, so I'm going to swipe. Include in messages. On, attachments and media, switch. This is whether you want your attachments, Off, media. selected conversations only, switch. You turn this on if you just want to only back up conversations from certain people. Off, within date range, switch. I'm going to turn this date range on because I don't want to do an entire backup. Let's say I've just had a phone for about a month that I've been using without a SIM in it, and it doesn't have my last month's conversations and I just want to get those on from swipe not again. set change for from not set I'm going to change the start date Friday January 26 2020 Friday January previous month button go back a month page 1488 of 2400 the 6th of December 2023 Wednesday December 6 2023 selected I just chose a date in December, and then near the bottom right of this window. The 30th of December 20. OK. Button. Hit OK. Back up now. Change for from December 6, 2023. Then. To not set. To Change today's for date. To not set. So I'm going to change Friday, January 26, 2024. 2024. Today's date's already selected. I'm going to hit OK. OK. Button. Back up now. Change for 2, January 26, 2024. Next we have... Backup location. Backup locations. And here ah, are your options. Google Drive. Switch. I'm not going to turn this on because I'll have to sign in and customize it. You know, choose 
which folder to save it in and whether or not I want backups to be deleted when I upload a new one. So definitely worth setting up. I recommend you do it this way just because it makes things easier. But for the demo, I'm just going to save it locally. More backup locations. I'm going to hit this. Off. Dropbox. Switch. We also have Dropbox. Off. OneDrive. Switch. Off. Your phone. Switch. I'm going to turn on your phone. Configure local backup location. Selected. Internal app folder. Radio button. We have two choices. Internal app for backup folder. Backup stored in this folder will be deleted if the app is uninstalled. Not selected. Or your own folder. Radio button. Your own folder, so I'm because it's easier, I'm just gonna do app folder, but keep in mind as it stated, if you do app folder, then when you uninstall the app, your messages go with it. Backup stored in this selected internal app folder, radio button. So doing that for the demonstration. Backup stored not selected. Data user Z browse button. Okay, button. Gonna hit OK. Backup now. On. Your phone. Switch. Okay, so I have it back not to my phone. It's saying that's not recommended, and it makes sense because if your only backup is on your phone, it's not really a backup. Configure for your phone. That's where I just came Off. from. Email. Switch. You could also send it to backup. an email. And here's the backup button, so I'm going to go ahead and do the backup. Are you sure you want to create a local backup only? You may lose the backup files if your phone gets lost or damaged. Not checked. Do not remind me again. Checkbox. I don't need to check that because I won't be doing it this way in no. the future. No. Button. Yes. Button. I'm going to go with yes for this purpose. Backup now. SMS backup and restore. Backup in progress. Backup complete. Okay, and just like that, it's completed it. I'm going to... Now you could go through here and it will show you how many messages got backed up and how many call logs got backed up and so on, uh, if any failed or not, but I won't go through all that. Open drawer button. I'm going to go back to the drawer to show you how to restore. Men checked. Home. Backup now. Restore. I'm going to hit restore. Restore backup. What backup location would you like us to restore from? Now, obviously, you wouldn't do this on the same phone. You'd be doing this on a second phone. So probably getting your files from Google Drive or having already transferred the backup file to that phone. So here it's asking what backup location to restore from. SMS backup and restore allows you to restore either your local or cloud backups. Local backup location button. Can I hit this? What would you like to restore? On messages switch. I want to restore my January messages. January 26, 2024. Four, SMS 20240126. Local copy 6.6 .6 megabytes 622 messages. Select then, another backup. On. Call logs. Switch. Also do call logs. January 26, 2024. Calls 20 trillion. Two, local copy 413.8 kilobytes. Select another backup. And advanced this, options. I'm going to show you the advanced options. On. Messages with files, pictures, videos, etc. Switch. So you could choose whether you want MMS also. Off. Disable duplicate check faster restore. Switch. So this is disable duplicate check and it's turned off, which means it is going to check for duplicates, which I recommend you doing because you don't want to import messages that are already there and then your conversations will look all kinds of crazy. So I'm going to leave this how it is. Selected. Restore full backup. Radio button. And then you can choose whether to do the full. Not selected. Only restore backup since. Radio button. Or from a certain date. So I'm going to do the full backup because I only backed up the last month and a half. But had I done a full backup, I could choose to only restore the month and a half here. Restore. 
I'm gonna hit the restore button. We need to temporarily switch the default SMS app in order to restore messages. You can set messages back as the default after the restore process has finished. Tap yes on the next screen to set SMS backup and restore as the default SMS app for the restore process. Cancel button. So this is important. You have to set this app as the default to import messages. And you need to remember, it's going to remind us after, but you need to remember to set your messages app, your default SMS app back to the default after you're done with this process. Or when you receive messages, they won't go anywhere. OK, button. Set SMS backup and restore as your default SMS app. Alpha Backup Pro, not selected. R messages, current default, selected. Radio button. Messages, not selected. Radio button. So I have Google Messages <laughs> and Samsung. So I'll remember that that first radio button is checked. So that's Google Messages. SMS backup and restore, not selected. Radio button. I'm going to select this. Selected. Cancel. Set as default. Button. Restoring. Restoring call logs. So it's doing the restore process now. Restore completed. Call logs. So let's just see what we Records have Records in backup. Colon. 1505. Processed. Colon. 1505. So they were all processed. Restored. Colon. Zero. None were actually restored because they were all duplicates. Duplicate skipped. Colon. 1505. And then there will be a similar breakdown for the SMS messages. But I'm going to close button. Hit close. SMS backup and restore is currently the default SMS app. Please open messages and set it back as the default SMS app. Not checked. Do not remind me again. Checkbox. So I like this reminder, so I'm okay. not going to check that. Button. To ensure your call logs and messages are protected, set up a regular scheduled backup. Would you like to set it up now? No. Button. So it's just recommending that I set up an automatic backup. I'm going to hit no. Restore backup. Restore. Then I'm going to go to messages before I forget. Nova launcher. Home. Gmail. Doc. Messages. Doc. Messages. Back. Button. Messages. So here to we have. messages, make it your default SMS app. And set I'm default SMS app. Button. Set default. Set messages as your default SMS app. Alpha Backup Pro. Messages. Not selected. Radio button. Like this first one. Selected. Messages. SM. Cancel. Set as default. Button. Okay. Messages. Messages. Now I'm going to go back to SMS Backup and Restore and just mention a couple more things. All right, we're back in the app now and I'm open, open drawer this button. Drawer again. My home. Backup now. We did Check. backup. Restore. Transfer. We did restore. But I just wanted to mention transfer. If you have this app installed on both of your phones, you can do it all in one step. You just go to transfer on both phones. And it'll ask you, are you sending or receiving from this phone? You choose the appropriate action for each phone. And then just follow the prompts and it'll send the messages. It'll create a backup for you and send the messages over Wi-Fi from one phone to the other. This has been kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes it won't connect. Sometimes it will. So it's worth trying it this way first if you don't really need a backup in the cloud or locally and you just want to transfer messages. And below that is new backups. where you can view your backups. You can actually go in, look at your conversations and read them all from within this app once you have created a backup. Delete backups. You can go there to delete print them. Print from backups. You can print settings. them. And then there's settings. There's not really much in the settings. You can turn on dark mode. And there's a few other things you could purchase the pro version. So I've done this demonstration with the free version. 
The Pro version is a separate app that's just called SMS Backup and Restore Pro. I think it's a one-time purchase of $5. And what that does is it removes the ads. But as you've seen from this demo, the ads are not intrusive. They're just a banner ad across the bottom. So it doesn't really affect you as a TalkBack user. But I always encourage you to support developers if you have the money. So that's how you would go and do that. That brings this demonstration to an end. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for listening.